Chill, look at the camera, Alex. Good. I'm Gia Nicolaides outside Nelson Mandela's uh, Houghton home, and I've got with me here uh, Alan. I'm Alan, yes, ma'am. And tell me about you, uh, why you're here today. Uh, we're here to visit the great man that's been a legend in our country. And after I watched the movie, that made me to be more strong in what he had done to our people in this country. And uh, I see that you've brought your children along here today as well. Yes, yes, yeah. They were very happy to come with me and to see what's happening here uh, for the great man that we loved him so long. Did you ever get to meet Nelson Mandela himself? Unfortunately, I didn't meet him, but uh, when I watched the movie on Sunday, I actually said that I want to meet him. And I couldn't get to meet him. Eventually, he has passed away. It's unfortunate. I've also got uh, EWN's Nadia Nufitu with me here today. Um, Nadia, who did you speak to? Gia, so many people have been coming by the house. It's just been growing, the amount of crowds and the people. But we've just been seeing a Sipungile Kumalo, Sipo Hatsticks Mapuse, a whole bunch of stars, uh, celebrities you would call them from here, sports stars, all going in to pay their respects to Madiba's family. Uh, and I've been speaking to some of them, Minister Paul Mashatile, who led a whole bunch of artists going in. He says that the mood inside is understandably sad, but that they are aware of this crowd outside. I mean, you can see in here, it's it's been incredible. It's just been growing and growing as the day has gone on. And at the same time, I just spoke to Sports Minister Fakile Mbalula, and uh, he we've just got the news that baby Jake Matlala actually passed away this afternoon. And uh, he said that we've lost another great South African hero. And it, it really is sad that as we are mourning the death of Madiba, we get this very sad news. And we're just going to pan around here at uh, Mandela's home in Houghton, just have a look at the crowds that have actually come through. There are hundreds of people and they keep pouring in. A great sense of energy, as you can see. People from all walks of life joining in to pay their last respects to Nelson Mandela. I think it's really a true reflection of a rainbow nation. Yeah, even earlier today, there was a crowd of fl uh, flames, actually, a whole bunch of flames from the candles that have been laid down there that people had to douse it out. There was a fire that almost came out. So it was quite intriguing to see. I mean, this is how people have been showing their physical reactions to a very emotional day. Uh, there's a wall, in fact. I call it a wall of love with all the flowers that have been laid out on that side. Uh, it feels like they're going to be more and more of them as people just come and put them down. And it, it, it's intriguing because you ask people for their different reasons. Why are they here? Why are they bringing items with them? And they say it's just to be able to touch and feel something of their grief that they can lay down, even if it's a small token, to repay something that they will never be able to repay. And that's what Madiba gave us and what he did for us. Absolutely, and I've also just been speaking to some of the parents who brought their children here, and they say that they want their children to be part of this history. And as you can imagine, the 5th of December, when Nelson Mandela passed away, will be a day engraved in all of our minds. And I think people are bringing their children here from, you know, nappies to 15, 16 years old to come and actually see this energy and I think this is something that we haven't seen in a really long time. It's actually reminiscent of the 2010 uh, Soccer World Cup in South Africa. Hey, hi ladies, um, well it's, it's amazing I've just come from Sandton Square and I'm just amazed at the extraordinary um, uh, the, the extraordinary outpouring of people that have just come out of nowhere and, and, and for me what's been the most amazing thing is and I was talking to a couple of the international correspondents is that how many people Madiba actually met physically and whose lives they physically touched. And these are the stories that are now coming out. You know, these a lot of these people that you speak to over here, many of them have met him in passing, they've shook his hand. I mean, my dry cleaner, for example, who I was talking to just as I was driving in, he was telling me that he lives down the road here and he met Madiba many years ago. And Madiba would come to his house for dinner and share stories. And you know, he was here the other day. And obviously, everybody's sad and everything. But I think that the celebration of his life is the one thing 
something that I'm really picking up. I mean, there was a bit of sadness in the beginning when people first heard the news, but this is about celebrating a great man's life. And the, the celebration, you can feel that. The songs, it's whether it's struggle anthems being sung or the national anthem, you'll hear it, that goes through loops and, and then everybody joins in and they just feel so incredibly united, dancing, toy toying, whatever it is. But I must say, you also see the entrepreneurial spirit come out too. Uh, yes. People are selling all sorts of things. I must say, they're, they're the men with the photos, uh, printers, that they can make actual, they can actually print out a photograph and give it to you, sell it to you right here and there. But we've seen, I mean, seen everything, t-shirts, caps, hats, uh, a man down there is selling a t-shirt with Mandela, 1918 to infinity. I do like that. I must say, I'm, I, I'm considering buying one of those for myself. <laughs> and, we're, and we're just standing, actually, just behind one of the vendors yes. here. T-shirts, caps, you name it. Uh, we've also got uh, people selling flowers on the side of the road. Oh, look, we have a new visitor. What's your name? My name is Peniel. Hi, Peniel. And uh, what are you doing here today? I'm, go I'm, I'm coming here to visit Tata. Tata. Did you bring some flowers? Yes. And where did you put the flowers? There. Over there? Yes. And your brothers and sisters, are they also here today? No. Just you? Yes. And, what and my mother. And your mother. And tell me, what did Nelson Mandela mean to you? Nelson Mandela. Uh, Nelson Mandela means to me, I love her. Love. Yes. That's lovely. Aww. That's lovely. Hi, Etienne. Hi. Hi, my name's Gia. Yes. And tell us, what, what, you, what are you doing here today? I'm here, as you can see, uh, everyone gathering here, uh, mourning the passing of Tata Madiba, and at the same time celebrating his life. Are you from South Africa? Are you from Johannesburg? I am not a South African. Uh, however, I've been here for quite a long time. I'm, uh, I'm from Congo, from the DRC. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. What does Nelson Mandela mean to you? It means a lot. Nelson Mandela, for me, is, um, is an icon. Um, is a great leader. And um, um, I think... What we should ask ourselves now, uh, what one should pose as a question is, who are the leaders um, that we are left with uh, of the caliber of Mandela? Uh, I think Mandela was uh, one of um, those leaders who could impact the whole world. As you can see, uh, it's not only in South Africa where his life is celebrating, where his uh, morning is People are mourning is uh, is passing. It's all over the world. So um, beyond celebrating, we should be asking ourselves, who are the leaders we can um, relay on? Since you know, Mandela is gone, I look around, I don't see anyone. So these are the questions that we should ask ourselves. These are people who could impact uh, one's life. Um, myself, for instance. My presence here in South Africa, uh, in a way or another, is because of Mandela. So he has changed my life, and uh, through my life, he has changed my li the life of uh, people at home, people I can help in a way or another. So if I could be at home today, maybe I was going to be uh, not working, sitting at home, because of the situation at home, you see. So, uh, yes, yeah, celebrating is good. But beyond that, uh, we should push far and think of, you know, um, how can we have people like Mandela? How can we uh, change our lives? Um, uh, I think that is a question we should ask. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Etienne. Okay. Gia, uh, so we have a stall over here with the, all of the items that are being sold, as you can see. I just have to show you this. This is something we have seen out here being sold here, yeah. but we've seen this for the over the years, you know. It's absolutely beautiful. I saw a car that had draped this over its front. I nicknamed it the Mandela Mobile because it's, uh, it was covered in Mandela, his images, his face. I mean, that I think is in one of the endearing images and 
we will always have of him. Uh, people are selling these. I think this one goes for about 100 bucks. There are t-shirts that are going for 200 depending on what it is that you, you want to buy. Uh, I do see a lot of ANC specific items that are being sold. Uh, we have, here we go, Musa, who is wearing this absolutely incredible. You're selling these? Yes, I'm selling. Uh, where did you get the idea to come and do this? Uh, I, I sell this for a long time. So I usually say on ANC conferences. At ANC conferences, and then yes. you decided to come today. Yeah, I, I decided to come today because Mandela is an ANC icon. He is, and tell me, how have they been selling? Are people buying them? Yeah, people are buying a lot. Would you say a lot? I mean, is this going for 100? It's 100 rand, right? Yes, it's 100 rand. And what do they want them for? Are they going to wear them? Do you see some people putting them on immediately? Yeah, they are wearing it because they enjoy. Yeah, they enjoy wearing it a lot. Oh, that's fantastic. What is your memory of Madibo? What do you know about him? What is your uh, endearing memory of him? Yeah, I remember uh, Madiba uh, when, in 2011, during World Cup, uh, uh, I remember that person uh, when he said um, we must unite, we must be a, a rainbow nation, yeah. So you are uniting people with your outfits here, so that's a good thing, right? Yeah, as you see, that there is a lot of people here, uh, different colors, but uh, one sort. Thank uh, you very much. Oh, all right. Hi. Jay, you have somebody else with you? Yes, Hello. I have uh, Nosipo with me. Hi, Nosipo. Oh. And you've got your two beautiful children yes. here. They wanted to come, actually. I'm not the one who wanted to come. The, did they ask the you to initial, come? Yes, since oh. yesterday. The Nata. bigger one said she wanted to touch Madiba. Uh, and, and I have to explain to her that he's no more. Shame. And, and what, what have you told your children about Madiba? I mean, that's the interesting question that we're asking many parents these days. What, what are you telling them about Madiba? I don't want to lie before and I have never explained in details about what Madiba was because she asked me yesterday what Madiba was doing on the TV the whole day because she wants to go there, she wants to just touch her and see her house. So I told my child, you know, he was there for us, for them to be able to have friends because now they have friends which are white. So for them to have those friends which are white, they, Madiba did that for them. Madiba fought for, for them, he, Madiba also. He, he left his own life, you know, he did something that I don't think anyone can do it. You know, he gave up his own life, he, he gave up his own kids, he, he, and now he has to take up for this whole world. I won't say South Africa, but the whole world. He put it on our minds that we have to be together, you have to be united. And I think Madiba did a very great job. Even now that he's no longer here, you see us. This is the only thing that you can get together with. Because most of the time, we're always having our views, we're always separated black and white, any color, even if it's not the same color, but we're always different. But today we are together, singing the same song, crying together, you know, smiling to each other. That's together, it. And I mean, if you just look out on the yes. streets here today, um, uh, as I was saying earlier, people from all walks of life. Oh, and, yes. and this is really because of Nelson Mandela. Oh, yes. It's, it's because of him. You know, you know we, even today, you look around in the world. I'm not trying uh, to criticize anyone, but you look around in the world looking for true leaders. This is something that we don't get in these days. You know, we need true leaders. Because to be a leader, you need to give up everything. You need to give up even your own life. You need, you know, forget about the material things of this life. Only think about the people that you're going to serve. That's what he did. He, he was thinking about the people that he served. Look at him even today. He was saying in rural areas. He didn't say, you know, I want the fence love now. Or, or, I've got all the powers. No. He said, I want to serve the people. He did it for us, not for him. Because together, now, me and you, we are together. We're talking together. He's not here. He didn't do for himself. There are very few people who are, who, who, who are able to give out for other people. Of which this is the thing that he stands out for everything. And I don't believe that anyone now today is there to do the same job that he did, especially for South Africa. That's the questions that we're asking at the moment. Yes. So many questions that members of the public are asking at the moment. Yes. Do you, we've got the elections co uh, coming up. Um, mm -hmm. Is this something that has popped into your mind during this grieving period that we've lost such a great leader? Yes, that's, that's, that's what I, I was thinking. Because before this, I don't want to lie, I was not even thinking about... I was so angry about many things. But because of this, it says to me, we need to look for true leaders. It doesn't matter who. 
But if you see this person is a true leader, try to push that person to be in power because he's a true leader. Because there they, they, they are factors that you can take from a diva practically that he did, you know, as a true leader. And then you can look around. If you can find a true leader, vote for that person. You see that he's got that thing. Because most people now, it's all about themselves. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. That's it. But may God be with South Africa at this time. That's all I can say. And the people who know how to pray should pray for South Africa. The people who are in charge of praying, the spiritual leaders, maybe this is a time to pray for that true leader because we know they're going to give up. We have to find the true leader that is going to lead South Africa, take over from what Madiba left. Absolutely. Thank you. And here we got Nadia and Yafitu again. Gia, I have two singers with me. You have been here for quite some time, yes, leading yes. everybody in song. You have a lot of energy. Tell me, what, what, what does it mean for you to be here today? Uh, here we, are, we are here to celebrate the, the life of uh, Tata Madiba, which is Tata. We are coming from the very same, the same place. You've been singing as well, right? Yes. What songs have you been singing? What Give us uh, a refrain we, of it. We were singing here yeah, the songs... Uh, uh, the traditional song, uh, Tulsa, and uh, some struggle songs. There's a particular t uh, struggle song, uh, Oliver Tambo. Mm. That one, can you sing that for us? Yes, uh, Oliver Tambo, Tetano Bota, Kululu Mandela, which is Oliver Tambo, Tetano Bota, Kululu Mandela. Uh, it's called like this. And it's talking about releasing Madiba yeah. from prison, right? Yeah, yes, yes. You look incredible, but this is important to you to be here today. Yes, yes, it's very, very important. What song has been the most inspirational for you to sing today? Which one is the one that you're thinking has the most meaning? There's nobody who's like him. Uh, and the song, it, it seems like this. Uh, who Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela, Akako Panana, Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela, Akako Panana. How long are you planning on staying here and being here and singing? Uh, until late, even yesterday, we were here. We go home uh, very late, even now uh, going late, you know. There's no way we are going to the location, we must be here. Yes. You don't mind being here in the sun, it's been a bit hot today, but you, you're imp it's important for you to be here. Yes, yeah, it's very, very important because to celebrate the life of, uh, of Nelson Mandela. What's your memory of him? Did you ever get to meet him? You just saw him on, on the TV and the newspapers. What, what's your no, memory? No, so sometimes we were with him at Kono in, in Transkai. Okay. And what do you remember about him? You know, what, what, what I like with him, and I remember, he like everybody, and everybody is, 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 is the same. You're white, you're black, you, you, you are the same to, to Nelson Mandela. And we see that out here today. White, black, everybody is here. Yeah. Young, old. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for your singing. It's Thank keeping us Thank going. You. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Guys, before and Nadia. You, can I please get a photo uh, of you two? I really have an artist who wants to paint these two. Nadia. Yeah. Brian, I've got Brian with me here. Brian, uh, why are you here today? Uh, I'm here to, today to ease my soul. Ease your soul. What do you mean by that? I think uh, I am very emotionally touched by what happened with Madiba. Um, I've seen him when he came back from, from prison. And I sat since yesterday, even the day before, even today until the morning, and watched the documentaries, everything, from where he was, how he was interacting with people, what was his goals and mission, and how he did that. A time of true reflection. Do, do you have children, Brian? I do have. I have two. And, and what do you tell them when, when you explain the, who Nelson Mandela was? What do you say to them? Because my baby girl is still young, she doesn't understand, but my 13-year-old boy, I called him yesterday because he's at, my, at his grandmother. I said to him, do you understand what is happening? And he said to me, yes. And I asked him what's happening and he explained to me. And I said to him, please remember this day until you die. 
it's, it's a huge day it's a and huge there's a lot of emotion day. but at the same time it's the first time I've seen so many people celebrating. I mean, we've got balloons, we've got flowers. Uh, yesterday, for a short period of time, we had a band coming to entertain the crowds here. Um, a real sense of celebration. Do you think that it's fitting for the type of leader that Nelson Mandela was? Definitely, yes. He, it is, all this that is happening here shows you what kind of a leader we had. And some people didn't actually take note of that. But I'm sure with everything that SABC and other television media and all that has prepared, people can now see clear what, what actually, who we, did we talk about. And I hope, and I hope, I really hope that this changes a lot of lives. You can see there's many cultures here, there's white, blacks, young, old, everyone that you can think of, they're, stay, they're sitting here. And being here, it helps, I think, each one of us. Because our emotions, we were shocked, now we are emotional. And I can't, at some stage I said to myself, I wish I can stay 10 days at home and not go to work until this funeral is true. So thank you very much, Brian. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Chia, I think this is going to keep going on for days to come. We know that they're going to be ten days, all in all, of mourning, of celebrating, commemorating Madiba. But I, I think outside here, we've just seen such emotion. I mean, I got here this morning, and it was this. There were just still so many people, and it feels like it goes in waves. Sometimes it's a lot more quieter. Sometimes it's a bit more jubilant, as you've heard Absolutely. now. I think that's been the most surprising thing for me is how celebratory this has been. Absolutely. And as I was saying, yesterday a band arrived here to play the national anthem and, and basically forced everyone to start singing along with them. And it was just such a great feeling. Um, and, and there was someone playing on the on a drum, and I heard it earlier, people dancing to the beat of a drum, uh, balloons, flowers, you name it. Um, it. It almost gives me a feeling of a mini market, but there's so much more attached to that as we know that we're celebrating a great leader's life. Absolutely and I agree with you that it does feel like we're seeing people's talents almost coming out here as well which is exactly what Madiba would have liked you know he, he was always encouraging people uh, with whatever their gift was to make the world a better place which is it seems that it's like it's almost cheesy but it's true it's it's about fulfilling your dreams and you know, creating items that people want to see. I saw a man who had this giant Mandela portrait that he had done. He said he has never been able to get it through to Madiba or the Mandela family, but he says the determined spirit that Mandela has always had always shown is what's keeping him going. So he's still going to try and get that portrait to the family. And, and if he doesn't succeed, I said to him, if you don't succeed, then what? He said he will never stop trying. Absolutely. As you're saying, many talents coming out and I, I wish him the best of luck. I've seen a number of people, sketch artists sitting on the side of the pavement, um, other people making things that they want to sell to members of the public. And, and that's really a great idea. People rushing out here, not just making food, but actually making items which people can then remember. And they, you know, carving on pieces of wood, 2013, this is the year, unfortunately, that we lose a leader like Nelson Mandela. But at the same time, a day that many of us will remember. And people will continue to come in and out of the house, the dignitaries, the guests, while they get to go inside and, and give the, the condolences, their condolences, their messages to the family. No doubt people will still continue to come here outside where they can lay out their flowers that are huge, becoming a wall of love to Nelson Mandela. Absolutely. A shrine, in fact. Uh, the entire fence that's blocking off the road where m the main entrance to Mandela's house is, um, is just filled with flowers. It, it just looks like this beautiful fence full of flowers, as if it was supposed to be there the entire time. Thank you, Gia. Thank you. I'm Nadine Yofitu for Eyewitness News here in Houghton. I'm Gia Nicolaides from Eyewitness News here in Houghton.